So here's the trailer that I'm repurposing. It once started out as a sleeping pot trailer where this actually came out and I had an extra space for my feet. Um, and then I put two panels of these on, the other one I'm using for something else at the moment. And at the bottom was a dog trailer or a storage trailer and that was towed behind a big motorhome uh, which powered my 12 volt freezer and I was kind of off grid in a motorhome and it's just been sitting around for years so now I'm going to take all of this to pieces I'm going to use the base because uh, it's a very lightweight base and I'm going to use that to either mount my tricycle sleeping pod onto or build my own trailer from scratch and my flexible solar panels will go on top. Now depending on how heavy the actual base of the trailer ends up becoming, I might take these panels with me too, which means that without having to buy any extra, for this summer at least, I should have around, I'd say nearly a thousand watts of solar power to take with me. Um, and that's kind of, next year is probably the stage where I start to look at investing in a proper system that I can run the car completely off. So for the time being, we'll see how this goes. I'll see how the project develops. And um, yeah, this is day one. And that is the base that I aim to transform. All in a day's work, I've stripped everything down and we're left with the bare base of the trailer. Now the weight of it isn't too bad. I'd say it's around 30 kilos without anything loaded. And if I find the right balance, I can probably pick it up with my with one hand here. So it's light enough as a base. I was debating on using this frame here, but I feel that might be overkill for what I need. And weight is a big thing that I need to save on when I build this and that base is already fairly heavy but there we go the next step is to figure out how I'm going to build the chassis onto there I am debating on just pulling all of this apart I'm not quite sure yet because that does give it some good structuring um, but no it's just the next step is just designing and figuring out how I'm going to build the trailer to fit onto the G-Wiz